Hey guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, we're going to show you how to draw a stitch. Come on, let's get started. I've been teaching cartooning lessons for after-school programs for kids for over 15 years, and I often get the same request. Can you show us how to draw a stitch? Well, in honor of a good friend Rex, we're going to draw a stitch today. All right, so I've got my pencil, got everything together, got the Irish coffee going. But before we get into that, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Okay, so I thought maybe we'd do a whole body instruction for this one. Stitch is a small character, and I think it would be fun to do a whole body pose this time. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with that circle. But because Stitch, his head isn't a full circle, I'm going to cut into the bottom. It's about a quarter of the way up from the bottom of that circle. Okay, I'm going to curve that line in a little bit. This is the basic shape of his head. Let me erase the bottom of that circle just to avoid confusion. Okay, so... That is the basic shape of his head. We're going to draw the vertical axis line down the middle. Okay. And then we will draw in the horizontal axis line right about there. Now, because we're drawing the full body, I'm just going to throw in my line of action there. So Stitch is two heads high, which means that the height of his body is the same height as his head. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the height of his head with my pencil here, and then we're going to bring down that line just like that, okay? We're going to then throw in the standard shape of a cartoon body. Um, but because of the action line, it's going to be shaped kind of like this. All right. Actually, I think he's a little wider. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do from here is I'm going to figure out where the body is going to go. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm using a drawing for reference here, so I'm not creating this, this pose, but I might change it a little bit as, as we go in. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to stay pretty true to that, to that uh, initial sketch. Okay, the foot's going to go like that. And then on the other side, he's, he's twisting his body. So we're going to see the profile of one leg, but the other leg is going to be tucked in in front of it. Um, I want to make sure that the the plane is pretty even, but because this foot is going to be further in, I want that line to be there. Okay. All right, perfect. Throw in the idea of where the tail is going to go. And now, because we have one leg like this, okay, and it's forward like that, the arm on the same side needs to counterbalance. So it's going to bend just like this. And then like that. And he's got his claw down like this. All right. Then because this foot is in this way, his other arm is going to be that out. There we go. Excellent. Just like this. All right. Oh, and he's waving. So I'm just going to throw in some temporary ovals there just to give a placeholder. All right. Now let's go back into this head. We've got his 
his eye line here. But I like to start with Stitch. I like to start with his nose. So his nose, it's very rounded. It's not a circle, but it's certainly circular. So we're gonna draw in kind of a very curved upside down triangle. Let me just throw in those nostrils. Okay. And from there, what I do is figure out his eye area. And because Stitch has these big light blue areas around his eyes, they are humongous. So they go off of the edges of the circle. And now for his eye shapes. So his eyes, I like to start with a circle and then I'll cut into it. His eyes come to a point here in the corners here. Right. And then they come to a point in the other corners, but they're going to do so on an angle. Like this. And the light reflection is rather large in his eyes. His eyes are just a big black mass. So to push that expression, they will give him these big areas of light reflection, just like that. Okay. And now that we have that in there, what I will do is I will push the shape of his head just a little bit to add a little more appeal. give him some tufts of hair here. And from there, what I'll do is I'll go into his mouth area. Now Stitch has a very unique smile. First, we're going to give him what looks to be like a frown. And then, we're going to come up like this. Okay. I'm going to throw in his bottom lip, just like so. And here, just like that. Okay. Now from there, I'll put in his teeth. Now Stitch has very rounded teeth. There are no sharp edges on Stitch. So we've got these two smaller teeth here, and we space each tooth out, and then he's got those canines, those fangs, right? But remember, you gotta space them evenly and make sure they're rounded, just like so. And then, down underneath, his bottom teeth, they're wider than the top teeth, but they're spaced out just the same. Two smaller ones, two bigger ones, and then because his mouth is kind of wide open, we can draw in some more in the back there. His tongue is rather large. Throw it in just like so. Okay. Now his ears will come off right about here, right? So the ear is going to be tucked in behind his head on this side. What we do 
is, now that I've got that in there, I'm gonna figure out how long it's gonna go. So the ears are as long as his head is wide. Okay, oh, I'm, I'm actually already there. All right, so his ear is shaped like this. Okay, so we've got the outer fold, and then it tucks in on this side. Now his ears were based off of a donkey's ears, okay? And we've got that little cut in here because Stitch is a rascal and he's been in some scrapes. So we've got a little bite out of his ear there. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, figure out where it begins and we're gonna figure out where that ear goes. So let's see, the head is that wide. It's gonna go right about here, okay. shape in like that, and then we're going to come in, you can see I'm not loving this, so I'm going to fix this a little bit here, close, there we go, I like that better, all right, and then there's the fold to the other ear, thin that out, great, and the bite on this ear is up higher. Okay. All right, so we've got his head down. Let's dive into his body. Now his shoulder's up, so it's gonna cover part of his jaw there. Okay. Now when Chris Sanders was creating Stitch, he knew we had to keep this character very appealing. Well-behaved character. So he walked this fine line of cutesy and cuddly, but able to get ferocious. So he's got these great claws here, right? But they're rounded. Everything's very rounded in this film. So that they don't escape that appeal. Here we go. His forearms are wider than his, than his upper arms. So you have to remember to also walk that line. So let's see, we've got, we've got the forearm and then we're gonna come in just like that. His fingers shape like that. They're really bulbous at the fingertip and then they come in. Okay. Let's see. Got his palm like that. And those claws. Go in just like this. I mentioned Chris Sanders he was the writer of the film. He came up with the idea. He was also the co-director and the voice of Stitch. Okay, so now we've got in the arms. I'm gonna go and put in the body from here. So he has this, this belly color. It's a light blue color. And his, his body's primarily purple. So we've got to separate that with this line. I'm going to give him three tufts of fur right here in his chest. And then round out his belly just like so. Right, we've got his undercarriage here. And then throw in his foot and his leg. Okay. He's a very squatty character. Just like so. All right, now that we're locking this down, let's give him that rounded 
tail that he has. And then let's throw in that back line. Actually, I like that initial line that I put in for his back, so I'm just gonna do that. It gives him more balance. All right, now let's ink this bad boy in. And then we sign it. All right, guys, well, there's Stitch. I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I wanna throw a big shout out to Mr. Hosh and his class. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys wanna learn how to draw a certain character, throw it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, you might want to check out some of my other videos right here. Hope you enjoyed cartooning with Paul and until then, we'll see you later.